Christ. Hey guys, saying hey, it's alive. We're up here in New Hampshire, Lake Winnipesaukee. That's the hundredth episode a celebration. We're gonna be doing the Great Meredith Rotary Ice Fishing Derby. <laughs> We're gonna go meet up with our local guide, Captain Bob. Get out a little further on the ice. He's got a secret spot all scoped out for us, and uh, hopefully catch some fish. Ah! Let's go. Winnipesaukee? Winnipesaukee. Winnipesaukee, that's what I said. All right, so we're up here ice fishing on Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. I got Captain Bob with me, local legend, our guide. So we're up here, it's a derby, and uh, it's a big deal, man. There's a lot of money on the line. A lot of money on the line. It's the biggest fish caught anywhere in the state. Oh, wow, so okay, the, so not just this lake. No, no. Probably the biggest lake trout. It's gonna come from up north. Okay. White perch, yellow perch, cusk. I've never even seen a cusk. Well, I think you're gonna today. I'm excited for that. We're gonna head out behind Welch Island. We're gonna fish the broads. The broads, huh? The broads, it's deep. All right. <laughs> but there's several underwater plateaus. It's where the fish congregate. Uh, hasn't been fished much, doesn't get a lot of fishing pressure. And uh, you're drilling the holes. That's fine. We got a drill auger. Oh, really? Hooked to a drill. Oh, you like cordless? Yeah, cordless. <laughs> yep. All right, it just all goes right. Beep. Let's get out there and start drilling some holes. Put me to work. Look at these bob houses. These guys come out here, they probably don't leave, huh? This guy's got a wood burner. Man, there's probably some houses on this lake, huh? Oh, yeah. Triple H lives over there. But the wrestler? <laughs> Kev is a big wrestle guy. You hear that, Kev? Look at this. We are on the broads now, boys. Look at this rig, bud. This thing is a work of art, bud. All right, Bob, so we made it out here to the broads, no man's land. Ain't a lot of Bob houses around here, except for your fine specimen here. The Bob, the, all, the Bob of all Bob houses. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this ain't any kind of ice fishing I ever did. Spray foam insulation, little wood burner. He's got TV going, little oven. What do we got down in these little buckets? Right there. Oh, yeah, huh? It's right down flush against the ice. Keeps the wind out of the house. Let's look at the view. I'd be sleeping out here. A beautiful day, huh, Bob? Oh, it's nice. Not even too sunny. Yeah, I hate it when it's too sunny and nice. Just close your eyes out. Oh, sucks. Right here, keep her straight. Keep her straight, pull the trigger. <laughs> Jesus, look at those long arms. You can do that from three feet away. <laughs> Try not to get my boots wet. From the bottom of the skimmer to my finger is how, is how deep the ice is. Yeah, about 16, 17 inches. Man, I wanted to get you to chip one. You'd That's what my dad used to have. It was just a big steel thing with a shit he used to put on the grinder. Yep. And just ping, ping, ping. You just take a half an hour to make a goddamn hole. All right, we're gonna need a little skim job on this one. You just wanna keep it clean. And that little chunks right there, they'll freeze to your line. And on a real cold day, you gotta go around and, and re-break it and re-skim it. Keep it, keep it fresh, keep it open. But that's how you drill a hole, huh, Bob? All right, you got 20 more to do. Oh, they're down there, bud. Yeah. Yeah, I see trout down there. <laughs> but look, I drill a nice hole. That is beautiful. We gotta get some bait in the water. You got a net, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Now what we're gonna do, yeah, nice yeah, yeah, big yeah. jack smelt, let's get him in. Oh, it's exciting. Okay. Ha, a fish is gonna bite his ass. Watch the line, boys. There we go, hit. That's bottom. Then we'll lift it up, foot and a half. Now that is where we're gonna set it. Line comes up, wraps around this. As the fish pulls it, flips that little bar, and there, you go. and there she goes. So we're gonna set up this tip up and uh, drop it down this line here. Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's set some new ones. All I like right. this. Oh, sun's poking out. I'm shooting an advertisement. 
My sister makes custom flags. You got the uh, sassy. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> oh, she yeah. stitches them up? Stitches them up. I love it. Sassy's gonna hit today, bud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that guy there has been through the ice three times. <laughs> Captain got me set up here. Sweet little rig. We're gonna start jigging for him. Got a hole going down. And we got this nice little weighted jig. All right, that does its own little thing. And, and then we got a nice little fresh piece of, of sucker filet on there. It's a piece of meat and then he cuts part of the meat off and has this little piece of skin exposed. And when you pop that in the water, watch, I'll show you what it does. Now imagine we're down at the bottom, flutter it up and then let it flutter down. Little actions, boop, boop, boop. And then back down, boop, boop, boop. And then back down, you know? Almost looks like a little fish swimming away. That's incredible. Yes, yeah, so as soon as we hit bottom, then you're then you're ice fishing, man. Then you're just putting in the boop boop boop. We're jigging. And these things hit hard or they just kind of pick oh, it yeah. up. Oh yeah, he's gonna smash it. Oh, I hope I catch a big old leg trap, boy. Oh, look at this service. <laughs> Hot damn. Yeah, that's a great movie, man. Anyway, is, are they both dead now? Dom Lemon is in the Dom Lemon is some shit. He's that dude on CNN. Whoa, flag! Fish out! Down there we got hot, hot sassy. That flag. I told you that one was gonna pop. Oh boy, sassy's hot. Bob's gonna be so mad at me. He's not gonna be mad. He's just gonna be a little disappointed, like a dad, you know? Hit and run. That's all right, we'll do some jigging over here. Yeah, Jumbo came up, he broke the line right at the hole. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, look how much line he took. All right, she's coming back. Mm -hmm. That's your freak flag fly, <laughs> sassy. <laughs> She's down here. Oh. Oh, she's down here. There he is. He's got him. Yeah, bud. And a boy. Oh, so there's a jumbo. Nice fish. Nice fish. Ah! <laughs> he's like, these guys ain't fing around. I gotta get out of here. Oh, he's a nice one. Nice Not fatty. Bad. Yeah, he's 18. He's 18. As soon as you catch them, I like to cut the gills, which is their, uh, right, you know, their lungs, but also runs one of their, their main artery, and uh, just get the blood out of there. Because you know, when fish goes, when people say, "Ah, oh, it's real fishy," I don't like fish. It's usually because it's saturated with blood, and exactly. just and yeah. Yep. So it's all about uh, how you treat the fish after you catch it. So let's bleed him out, get him on ice, even though he's cold as ice. Well, one more, and you got your limit, Bob. Woo! You think you can win this derby? No. All right, Bob, so you mentioned we uh, you know, we caught, happened to land myself a nice lake trout, yep. you know, uh, but we're also got chasing after a fish called Cusk, almost like a freshwater cod, kind of wolf fish, kind of like weird eely tail, but delicious. This is a set line. We have a one ounce sinker on it. We have big baits. Big baits, big fish. And if they're on here, is it a set game or are you just No, nope, kinda... you just pull it in. Just pull it in, try to do it. So what do you, yeah, what do you got? You feel them on there? No. All right, well, let's wrap it up, and then we'll go to the next one. What a good bait, huh? Good bait. You gonna let him back? Good lively fish, let's go to the next yeah, one. Yeah, let's check the next one. Now, you can look down and, and see if the line is going sideways. Yeah, looks like it's kind of being pulled that way. Kind of an indicator, possibly. Could it be something other than a cusk? It's a lake trout, we'll let him go. How come? Ah, uh, you can't keep him on cusk lines. Really? Wow. <laughs> Turn his hairs off. Definitely a bit girthier. Look at the shoulders on him. Now we're gonna throw him back because we caught him on a cuss line. Right. It's the right thing to do. We play by the rules here, no big deal. And uh, that fish gets to go out and swim to uh, be caught another day or not. Pretty though, aren't they? Yeah, gorgeous fish. What is that, Ben? This is that cusk fish we were going after. 
He barehanded him. You get in three, four feet of water, and then you just wait for him jump to come by, him. and you barehand him. <laughs> look at that thing. It does look like a catfish met like a, yeah, I don't even know, like a cod and an eel. Back to the Bob house. Pew. We're gonna make a little snack. We got some butter, a little onion. You brought some shrimp out here. I can get into this Bob house food stuff, man. The noodle is what makes it. Hey, whoa, 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 you need more shrimp. Huh? Oh yeah. I wanna make a show just about Bob house cuisine. We'll go all over the world checking out people's rigs. <laughs> Let's warm it up a little bit. Let's see if we get off the ice. Go clean up that trout. How fast we gotta go? We got a minimum 50, it's like, it's like okay. speed. Well, you can't go below 55 or we're sinking. All right, great. So we're standing here at the board of the Derby with John and John. Perfect, easy for me. I'm the uh, chairman of the Ice Fishing Derby, and you have John was the uh, founding father of the Derby 43 oh, years ago. And this is the 43rd, you said, right? This 43rd. is the 43rd year. That's wow. Great. What an incredible tradition and event to be having going on for such a long time. That's amazing. It is. It is. So, I mean, there's an entry fee to it, and the proceeds, so you guys, I saw there's some scholarship money that goes out, and it gets broken up into conservation and restocking the fish. I mean, the money goes to so many worthwhile sure. charities. All this profit goes right back in. Yeah, that's a lot of fun, too. Yeah. The fish I caught didn't, it was right under the, the amount to be able to qualify. Can you just walk me through, you know, that process and, and what species you can catch? We have the yellow and white perch, rainbow trout, lake trout, cusk, and black crab. You come in, we have an outside check-in that takes the weight and the length. Then we go to a state certified electronic scale inside. We take the largest fish in each category each day, and the top fish that wins come out of that 14. So not everyone's just chasing the lake trout. That the, is correct. Well, I'm sure some people can take their fish home, but you probably have an abundance of, of caught fish. If they don't make the board, we put them back into the tub, and there's tubs to go up to the Squam Lake Science Center. Every year we give them roughly 500 pounds of fish to feed the bears, the otters, all oh, wow. the animals. So I'm sure they love it. They love it. Keeps that ecosystem going. Oh, fun. Yeah. And hey, what's the biggest? Uh, the largest biggest fish we've ever had derby. come in the Derby? Yeah. I believe it's been around 23 pounds. Whoa! It's cold as hell. Let's go get a beer. <laughs> all right, Bob, thank you again, man, for uh, you know, letting me come out here, go ice fishing, you, sharing your knowledge. Caught my first lake trout uh, through the ice. Ah! That Bob House is something else, man. The Bob of all Bob Houses, man. The Bob Mahal. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you again, man. That was a freaking blast. Man. And thank you to Meredith for, uh, for putting on this awesome derby. And thank you guys for watching 100 episodes of this ridiculous show. I love you. We'll see you next time. Bon appetit, baby. <laughs>
He's a dangerous man. I'm going through the night. Shove over. Oh, yeah, look at that, huh? Let's walk this way. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>